Hey there, Saturn 5 here. Today we're going to be launching a replica satellite, Sputnik, into orbit. Now, if you didn't catch the message in the beginning, I recommend that you read it. Sputnik 1 was the first man-made object to be launched into a orbit. It was launched by the USSR, and uh, as you see this glorious ascent, Basically, this is going to be my part of the history series that I'm going to be starting. I'm hoping that you enjoy it. So, basically, a little bit about Sputnik 1. Like I said, it was launched by the USSR. It was designed to be a spy satellite. And it lasted in orbit for I believe it was seven weeks and uh, Kerbal kind of I clicked the wrong button so space program didn't really like me there um, I am playing on Xbox and recording an iMovie so sorry if the um, sound quality isn't the best but Sputnik 1 was launched into orbit by the USSR and stayed in orbit for around seven weeks before the battery died. It then, uh, the orbit was, the orbit lowered and it came crashing into the atmosphere where it blew up. This is a pretty basic video, it's only about five minutes long, so I try, sorry. I'm going to be trying to get more videos out, so please stick around on the channel. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Now, this isn't an exact replica because Kerbal Space Program does not have identical parts, even with the uh, parts and history expansion pack. Now, um, you're going to see that the orbit in this is going to be uh, lower than the uh, Kármán line for the planet of Kerbin. This is just because I wanted the um, it to be able to deorbit, but the air it doesn't deorbit due to such low air resistance. It only loses a few meters after the batteries have already died, but that's in the future. So, as you can see, the wonderful fairing deploys and Sputnik 1 is released from its cage. This is also kind of a uh, how to use the uh, curb net mini tutorial. So for curb net access basically this is uh, you'll see at the bottom the uh, coordinates, field of view, altitude, and the body along with um, add a waypoint and the field of view is how far the craft can see pretty much it's like zooming in and out your camera you can cycle what's called auto refresh which will cause the thing to automatically um, cycle and take a picture I guess you could say every so many seconds See, you don't really need Kerbinet access for the planet of Kerbin because you don't need to explore this planet, but it's useful for other planets that you want to land a rover on or something such as that. But um, when you're launching probes like this, be sure to have solar panels. Now Sputnik 1 did not have solar panels. That's why this drains on the battery so quickly. There's nothing to recharge the batteries. But uh, we're about to lose power towards the end of this video. And uh, I guess kind of stinks that battery life is so short in this game. But it's all right. So this is just kind of demonstrating how curb net access works. But we are coming to the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Please, I do read the comments.